This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone glorify the use of drugs. Yo, what is good? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, I'm gonna cover the substance called 3MeO PCP. This is a dissociative hallucinogen that is in the same class of drugs as whippets and ketamine. I'll explain the dangers, effects, history, pharmacology, and much more. Let's get into it. PCP is a dissociated hallucinogen of the aerocyclohexamine class and was marketed online as a designer drug. It was first synthesized in 1979 in an investigation of PCP derivatives, but its activity in humans was not described until 1999. It later started to become discussed on the internet in 2009 and was made available on the online research chemical market. Similarly to whippets and ketamine, it acts mainly as an NMDA receptor agonist. It induces a state referred to as dissociative anesthesia. Due to its potent hallucinogenic effects and lack of research, it is strongly advised to use harm reduction practices if using the substance. It is a PCP derivative and is structurally analogous to 4-MeO-PCP, although it is 10 times stronger than 4-MeO-PCP. 3-MeO-PCP is commonly described as being less stimulating and less immobilizing than other dissociatives such as ketamine or MXE. Effects include mood enhancement, environmental dissociation, disorientation, dizziness, or ringing in your ears. It has been noted to produce delusions of sobriety, which can lead to compulsive redosing. It is common to have a disconnection from your senses, almost as if your body is a vehicle and your consciousness is separated from it. Typically, it's taken orally or nasally, but it can also be injected or smoked. It can last one to five hours depending on the method of administration. Different routes of administration can induce different types of dissociation. For example, intranasal tends to be more stimulating, while oral tends to be more confusing and impairing. People claim to be more capable of doing daily activities at smaller doses and is sometimes described as a functional high, but you can definitely overestimate your abilities. Sometimes Sometimes you think you can have some amazing idea only to laugh at how ridiculous it sounds when you're sober. It can give a delusional sense of power such as thinking you have access to special knowledge that nobody else does. Higher doses may induce even higher delusional thoughts. For example, you may start crawling around the table thinking that you're teleporting through dimensions. At higher doses, the user is much more prone to injuring themselves too. It is more energizing than dissociatives like ketamine, which may be bad for some users. Because if you are on a lot of ketamine, you just K-hole and pass out. But PCP and its analogs are the types of drugs that people are on when they're fist fighting cops in the street with their guts hanging out. The increase in exercise capacity is essentially an illusion by the user failing to notice overexertion. Additionally, memory impairment is likely where the user may have a task at hand and then randomly forget what they were supposed to do. Another similar drug that does the same thing is ketamine. Sometimes you may take a bump of ketamine only to wake up an hour later not even remembering anything. Watch this video next to learn everything there is to know about ketamine and why it's many people's favorite drug. I'm Low Key Fish. Peace out.